There is that out there. If I, if I can get a copy of the presentation that JR and Heather Don were going to present, we will certainly we will get that up online. Um, the last thing I want to point out is that the back of the purple section, this is the purple section, is the evaluation for the CLE. If you would take a few moments to fill that out and then you can turn it in at the registration desk. Um, it would be very helpful for the presenters today to know if you, know, if you learned things from their presentation. Um, also, I'm a member um, of the CLE committee in determining what uh, programs and presentations we will have at the upcoming uh, CLEs and again at the State Bar next year. So your comments are greatly appreciated. We do look at all the evaluations that are turned in. They're not just stuck in a drawer somewhere. They are given to us as the members of the CLE committee. CLE committee. We do review them and talk about what the bar wants. You're the bar. Tell us what kind of topics or <coughs> presentations you feel would be beneficial and helpful to you and your practice. Um, so please fill those out. You can email or call any of us on the CLA committee if you have any um, topic ideas or suggestions. We're certainly willing to listen and visit with you. We want the State Bar Convention and the other CLEs that are held throughout the year to be beneficial and to be worth your time. Um, as I indicated, they'll all be up on the website afterwards. We are still strongly encouraging everyone to come in person to the CLEs because that's where you meet your fellow practitioners. That's where you meet the people that when you have that call, um, you have that issue that you've never dealt with before, you can pick up the phone and call someone that you've sat around and visited with after on a break or in the evenings at um, the banquet or one of the hospitality rooms. So when you can make those CLEs, um, we encourage you to do that. And on the last note, um, I would also just encourage you to talk with the law students that are here at the State Bar Convention. Um, they're young, they're new, they're, some of them have family ties to law, or some of them are like me 10 years ago. I didn't have anybody in law, and I didn't know what I wanted to do or where I wanted to go, and I took that opportunity to talk with the lawyers that have been practicing. So those of you that have been practicing, I encourage you to seek out those law students and those new lawyers and answer their questions, visit with them, tell them what it's like to be a member of the South Dakota Bar, that we're a small bar and that we help each other out when we can, that we represent our clients in the courtroom, but when we leave the courtroom, we're friends and neighbors and we help out when we can. So thank you everyone for coming and you get out early. And you can drop the critiques off at the front desk. And that's a wrap.